All right, guys, so we're back with another project. I built this mud mower or this race mower a while back. I put a video, I'll put a link to the description and the walk around. This thing's fast. We're talking 40 plus miles an hour and it doesn't take long to get there either. We have this right here. This is a Baja mini bike, 200 cc's, original motor, um, broke the full start. That's all right. We we'll take a rope around it. This thing runs and drives as it sits right now. I built this a couple years back. It was an old go kart frame I had that was one wheel. I cut the frame down and used the rear end to half the rear end to build this. Um, this is all scrap parts I had laying around. It's held on by two U bolts. I have never had a problem with this thing whatsoever. This has been fun. They're getting older now. They're getting a little bigger. The sidecar, my son's legs are a little too long for it now. So it's got to go. It's just becoming too dangerous. So my idea is to take that motor, with the shaft comes out the bottom, not the side. Take this motor off, use it for a project in the future. Take that rear tire off, keep it for a project. Once I get this motor mounted on there, um, I have to cut the plate and figure all that out. Mount the motor on there. I have a rear end for one of these sitting right here. I believe that's the rear end I'm going to use. It is a six speed rear end that I can mount underneath the back of that, flip it over, grease fill it, and make this thing a bottom. It'll be a pulley drive motor. I've seen a lot of people build trikes, but I have never seen one built like this. So it's just something that comes to me. I think it'll work. I obviously know it's going to take some fabrication to get this motor on there, but I am prepared to do that because I think it'll be a really neat build. I think it'll turn out real nice and run real good. You would be amazed what these little motors will do with just the pulley swap. This one has a five inch pulley on the bottom. That pulley will end up under there with a five inch pulley. That rear end right there has a six inch pulley on it now. It will go down to a two inch pulley. So just that little bit right there is just more speed than you would ever think. I mean, these little things will get up and go. I don't know why a lot of people don't use it because they have mowers just sitting around. Maybe they just haven't decided, figured out a way to do it and I'm gonna fix that for them. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It may take some doing, but I will show you how to build it. It will be right and it will run. Like I said, get this motor mounted on there, mocked up, and get the rear end set up underneath there, mocked up, and we'll go from there. We're fixing to put it up here, take this old sidecar off, and we're going to tear it all apart. That rear end, last time if I remember right, that shaft seized in there, and that's going to be a pain in the butt. But we got to get it done. Got to get this other thing, this other motor tore off this lawnmower out here which is right there. We're gonna put it right there. All right, we got the axle out. Man, if you've never taken one of these apart, whew, that is a nightmare. That thing was seized in there, I had to beat it. If I ever need another one, I'm gonna have to buy that new shaft because that one's no good. I buggered the end all up on it. But anyhow, got it apart. Now I gotta go out here and get this rear end off this lawnmower or off of out there in my junk pile and we're going to figure out how to put it on here and get it rigged up i don't reckon i'll need a kickstand no more so i can take that off and get the rear end on here first get it centered and weld all that and then i'll worry about the motor because the motor is not going to be hard drill a hole bolt it down and it'll be ready to go i already measured it hit a bolt down on the edge of that plate. So worst comes to worst, I'll weld me two pieces of angle up and put another steel plate across and just drill me four holes. Cause those motors you don't have to slide to adjust. I can build a tensioner for that. So let me go get this rear end, get it all mocked up. And we'll see what it looks like. Well, it's mocked up. Man, would you look at this thing? Boy, that thing looks neat. Yeah, I gotta do a lot of fabricating to get this thing to fit because those bolt holes are awful close, close right there we'll get it done y'all hang on and 
let me figure out what I'm going to do and we'll start recording again. Alright guys, so I jumped on this thing last night and put in the work. Got the motor sitting on there. It's not mounted. This is all just mocked up. That motor is sitting on there and it's ready to go. I have to figure out something with a plate because the motor is about an inch wider. Now what I'm thinking is I can cut this plate off and just weld it onto that one. And that should work just fine. Or I have some little pieces of metal that are about 10 inches that I can just drill the holes, bolt them, and then set it on there and tack weld it, and then unbolt it, and then weld them in place. Not sure yet. Still kind of kicking the idea around. I kind of like this one. That way that motor sets flush down in there. And with the pieces of metal, it'll have, you know, I don't know if that motor will give any, but I don't want to find out. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, motor's mocked up. Rear end, this is just using it for mocking it up. It doesn't really fit, so I gotta cut these gussets out back here. When I put the motor or the rear end out from underneath this one, it already has two big steel L brackets. So I'm gonna weld them where the gussets are, and those will become my new gussets, plus they'll be my mounting brackets. Mount the rear end upside down. The pulley should be very close to lining up. Maybe a little bit of tinkering, they'll line up. I'll make them line up. And then I just have to come up with a belt from there to there and some sort of clutch even though man that's gonna be tight there ain't a lot of room there for air but this thing's gonna be uh, a willy machine i mean it, all this weight is just shifted back i mean you'll be sitting here motors right in front of you and then the rear ends right underneath of you so might have put willy bars on the back all right guys we're back again got the motor set up there Got the plate set under it. Got to get this welded down. Put it into place. Got the rear end that I'm going to use. Probably leave these little 18s on there for now. Took them out from under the drift mower. Or race mower, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. Got it all set up and ready to go. Now all we got to do is wait for my help to get here. So he can help me pick this motor up. Get it all centered up, eyeball everything, level everything, start tacking everything in. The idea is to get it tacked on, set it on the ground, roll it around, make sure everything's straight, make sure everything's level, weld it up, and go from there. All right, guys, so we got it sitting on the ground now. I got the motor welded in place as well as the rear end is welded in place. It ain't going nowhere. I still got to figure out something with this part. Because this ain't connected yet. Yeah, got the pulleys on the bottom. They're lined up. Pretty much eyeballed. I had a 38 belt right there. It's about an inch too long. So I'm going to go get a 37 belt for it. But I got a lot to do before I get to that point. I'm still in the wiring harness out of that mower. And the little battery out of that mower. I'm going to make like a little holding thing under here above that rear end because there's no suspension back here so that'll be where i put everything yeah it's coming together um tires were donated to me they make this thing look like a monster get back a little bit yeah that front tire is a 19 inch tire those are 25s so yeah it makes it look like a Frankenstein looking beast. I don't know what to call it. But they were given to me. They give it a wider stance. I'm going to try them. If I don't like them, I'll take them off, put my little 18s back on that I got over there. We'll go from there. It's like I said, it's coming together nice. I got the pulleys lined up just right. It's, it's surprisingly a lot easier to do than I thought it would be. I don't know why more people don't do this because these little motors got plenty of power crazy the power you can get out of the mowers just with pulley swaps i'm going with a five inch five and a half inch pulley on the front three inch on the back hopefully that gives it a close to a two to one or one to two however you say it so hopefully that won't kill my bottom end too bad i don't care if this thing only does 20 it just creeps around it's just something fun to ride all my kids have stuff to ride my wife has something to ride so 
I got to build me something to ride. You've seen my videos. I'm a big guy, so I need something with some power. So I'm going to get this welded up next, and we'll get all that frame set right. I did, if you ever want to build one of these, these Baja mini bikes, this part, if it's level, that back part is pitched up in an angle. You have to tweak that frame right there in the middle to get them to line up. So just FYI if you're ever wanting to build one of these. But yeah, it's coming together good. Hopefully we'll be able to ride this thing around this weekend. Not sure if the glare or what's screwing the camera up. That's weird. Anyways, yeah, we'll be able to ride this thing around this weekend. At least that's the plans. So let me get back to it and I'll check back in once I get that back welded up and set into place.